There's something about the children's films of yesteryear that were unapologetically dark at times. While the current generation of kids have cute little minions and talking penguins to enjoy, we had stories about goblins who abduct children, and David Bowie's giant padded crotch. Establishing ground rules is important, so let us state for the record that this countdown doesn't include horror films. Rather, these are movies legitimately intended for kids. So let's start revisiting painful childhood memories, shall we? We should probably have expected a movie called The Dark Crystal wouldn't be all sunshine and rainbows, but nothing could have prepared us for the scene in which one of the film's cute podling creatures is strapped to a chair and given a life-draining lobotomy. Ah, yes, and now the beam will rid you of your fears, your thoughts, your vital essence. Everyone knows kids were tougher in the 80s, and could handle a few harsh truths now and then. But the never-ending story took this to brutal extremes, not only in killing a harmless animal, but to do it in a slow, painful, agonizing way. No horses were harmed in the making of this film, but plenty of hearts were. Christopher Lloyd's Judge Doom is one of the most frightening villains you're ever likely to see in a kid's film, and his final scene of Who Framed Roger Rabbit is just about as disturbing as it gets for a PG-rated film. Legendary kids author Roald Dahl was known to dabble in dark themes, and the film adaptation of his beloved book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory certainly didn't shy away from this. But none of that compares with Wonka's psychedelic boat trip. The danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! <laughs> yeah, this is totally suitable for a kid's film. This film teeters on the edge of what is generally considered passable kids viewing, with more than enough messed up imagery within its running time to justify a hard PG or even an M classification, which makes it even more of a shock to find out this bad boy is actually rated G. I mean sure, The Wizard of Oz had the monkeys, but does that really compare with the sight of grown men in eyeliner with wheels for hands chasing down a child in dark corridors? I don't think so. That's it. 